What's YouTube is constant back with another NBA 2K20 my team video today. I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to get NBA 2K23 early for the Xbox. Now this method isn't gonna work, unfortunately, on PlayStation. I know, I know, but yeah, I haven't been I haven't been making videos for a minute. You know, 2K22 got real dry for me. I've been playing other games like Modern Warfare Warzone. I will be making videos on that when it comes out too. Multiverses and Fall Guys. That's really been it for me. But 2K. Every time I try to start it up early, it's going to say, yeah, you're too early. Wait a little longer. Now, the game is going to come out on the 9th. Right now, it is the September 6th. So, a few days, it's going to come out. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to get it a day early. So, what you want to do is go to general, no, no, system. Go to time. You want to change your time zone all the way down to New Zealand time. Now, it's not New Zealand. It's going to be Auckland, I believe. So we're going to scroll all the way down to UTC plus 12. Auckland, Wellington. This is the time you need. Now, if you guys look at the date now, it says Wednesday, September 7th, 9.26 in the morning. So it is not that time for me at all. But this is going to be how we're able to play the game early. So what we're going to do, set this to Auckland time. Then all you have to do is go to language, location. Keep your language. Go to location. You want to change that to New Zealand now. We find it real quick. New Zealand. And yeah, this is literally all you got to do. And it'll be good. You want to press restart now. Restart your Xbox. And you'll be on New Zealand time. Once you do that, you're definitely going to be able to get your game one day early. Like it said, once it changes to New Zealand time midnight, you'll be playing. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see for this next 2K23, my career, my team, anything. That'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching.